right, so like the title said, uh, study of Vicantism, I don't take it seriously, and I don't think you should either. And let me explain some of my reasonings on that, but one of the ones, and this isn't a logical reason, but it's when we're dealing with people, you have to re remember personal reasons. And the biggest reason is that I don't have the time or energy to do all the research and mental gymnastics that are necessary to arrive at the conclusion that, you know, it was John the 23rd that was the first fake pope. So... I would challenge all of you here in this hall tonight to take the time, review the teachings of Holy Mother the Church, even in your Baltimore Catechism and simple theology books regarding the sacraments, and compare them, compare those teachings and those sacraments with what's going on today in the Vatican II Church. If you do this and pray as you're doing it, you're going to be made aware of the fact that there is a definite difference. But do you know what's very difficult today in convincing people to research? 25 years ago, if someone were to stand up, stood up and said that you don't have a valid mass in your parish, they'd probably all have a stroke. It would be some kind of a revolution. Today, it's like people are mesmerized. You know, like the attitude, what can I do about it? It's unbelievable, the reaction. It's like you're telling me it's raining outside. We're saying literally that the liturgy in your parish, in your local parish, is not a valid liturgy. And I can prove it by repeating the words of Pope St. Pius V. The words of consecration were destroyed. You know how most people research what we say? Some of them do it during the lecture. What do you think? Boy, that's far out. So two seconds of research, they just made a comment to one another. Or others will go knock on the parish door, parish priest's door, you know. Father, are you saying a valid Mass? I think he's going to say, no, I'm not. Invalid. Make sure you come to it. They'll say, do you think they're going to say, Father, is Vatican II a Catholic council? I think he's going to say, no. You have to, on your own, look into it and investigate. And if you don't, whether you agree or disagree with what I'm saying, if you don't research it, you cannot make a statement that what I'm saying is not true. Just because you don't agree with it doesn't mean that it's not true. You may say, well, just because you're saying it doesn't mean it's true. Okay, look into it. Research it yourself and find out yourself by research. But don't make a judgment just because you don't like what you hear or because you have the attitude it can't be.